السلام عليكم. You are about to witness some astonishing mathematics in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has challenged all of creation to come up with just one chapter like the Quran. And the shortest chapter is just three very short verses. So let's get to it. The shortest chapter in the Quran is chapter 108, titled Al Kothar, which means great goodness and is also the name of a river in paradise that has been given to the Prophet Muhammad. When the pagans of Mecca saw that the Prophet's male children have died, they used that to attack him and call him an Ebtar, which in this context in Arabic means someone whose lineage is cut off, because the word means that which is fruitless and cannot multiply and reproduce, and also those actions that are impotent and thus will lead to nothing. So they were both trying to mock and insult the Prophet hurtingly by also claiming that when he dies his legacy will end and all his work will have been for nothing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this first verse responded saying that he has given the Prophet the kawthar, i.e. endless and countless goodness, the greatest of which is the Qur'an and also the river named al kawthar in paradise which lives up to its name far beyond imagination. The second verse commands him to perform all acts of worship, both mandatory and recommended, which is symbolized by telling him to pray and slaughter the sacrificed animals in the name of Allah, called in Arabic in Nahar. The final verse informs the Prophet that those who mock the Prophet are the true Abtar. This short intro was important as will be seen. So let's get to the amazing new mathematical discoveries about this chapter. This chapter contains a total of 10 words. Then we notice that the number of letters that make up the first verse are also 10. By this we mean the different letters, for example in English the word call is made up of 3 letters even though it contains 4 because the letter L is repeated. So we look at the second verse and again we find that it is made up of 10 letters. We look at the third verse and amazingly it too is made up of just 10 letters. Clearly this is on purpose, so we look closer in this direction and find that the first letter of the chapter repeats throughout the chapter ten times. We also discover that it is also the letter that appears most in the chapter. So the maximum number of repetitions for any letter in the chapter is also ten. Then scholars notice that miraculously, out of the entire alphabet, the number of letters that only appear once in this chapter is also ten. In the Qur'an, there are fourteen letters called the Qur'an separated letters, in Arabic, al huruf al muqatta'a and they are the letters that appear at the start of some chapters as verse number one. For example, the letter N, Noon in Arabic, appears at the start of chapter 68, chapter the pen. For now, just remember that these letters have a special linguistic role, and many scholars are still learning new revelations about them. These unique letters are Alif, Ha, Ra, Sin, Saad, Ta, Ain, Qaf, Kaf, Lam, Mim, Nun, Ha, Ya. Then we notice that when we exclude these letters out of the alphabet, what remains of letters within the alphabet appears within this chapter ten times. Digging deeper, we realize that we have looked at the first letter of the chapter. So what about the last letter? It is the Arabic letter R, Ra in Arabic, and we realize it seems that it is being highlighted because all the verses in the chapter end with the letter R. Then we realize that the letter R in the Hija'i common alphabetic order is letter number 10. So every verse ended with the letter R, and R is the 10th letter. Following this we look at the chapters in the Quran that also ended with the letter R, and discover that amazingly the total number of chapters in the Quran that end with the letter R is also 10. It's also interesting to point out that the word surah, i.e. Ch Quranic chapter, in its plural and singular form, was mentioned throughout the Quran ten times. Following this theme even further, we find that from the start of this chapter until the end of the Quran, the total number of words that end with this letter R are amazingly also ten. As stated, in a previous video, the entire Qur'an is tightly knit and interconnected in perfect linguistic and mathematical harmony. This chapter starts with the Arabic word inna. So let's find the first verse in the Qur'an that starts with the same word. 
Looking at this verse, we are amazed to find that it too is ten words. This is truly amazing. But let's move on. We said that the middle verse mentioned a nahr which is the slaughtering of animals in the name of Allah. Now we remember that the day of an nahr is the tenth day of the month of the pilgrimage hajj season. Again, this is truly amazing. But let's move on. Adding up the verse numbers seems to always indicate something and in this chapter adding up the verses we get six. Surely there must be something related to the number six that can lead to more. So what is it? We discover that from the entire alphabet only six letters are recurring letters in the chapter and they are Alif, Ra, Kaf, Lam, Nun, Waw. Each one of these letters appeared more than once in the chapter. When we look at their order within the common alphabetic order, we get these numbers. The first being 1, Ra being 10, and so on. Miraculously, when we add them up, we get the number 108, which as you know, is the number of the chapter. If this is not shocking enough, or you think it might be a coincidence, what else is unique or seems to be specifically highlighted which we can further look into? We mentioned that every verse within this chapter ends with the letter R and that 10 chapters in the Quran also end with the letter R and that R, Ra in Arabic, is the 10th letter of the alphabet and that this chapter contains 10 words. So we look at the positions of this letter within this chapter. The first R is letter 16 in the chapter, the second is 21, the third is 28, and the last one is the 43rd letter. Can you guess what this means? Yes, their sum total is 108. That's right, the numerical location of the 10th letter gives the number of the chapter that revolves around 10. Okay, we are almost done in this video, but we will never be done with just one chapter in the Quran. Let's dig deeper, and in my previous videos, I noted that it is never just about the correlation inside the Qur'an. It's like a genetic code connected to everything in creation. We look at the words of the first verse, and they are three. The letters of the first word repeat 15 times within the chapter. The letters of the second word repeat 22 times within the chapter. And the letters of the last word repeat 26 times. This gives us a total of 63. The chapter is al Kothar, and 63 is the age of the Prophet Muhammad who was given the Kothar. So we repeat this with the second verse and we end up with 43. So what could this possibly be related to? Shockingly, 43 is the number of letters in the chapter. And finally, we repeat this with the third verse and we get 61. 61 is a prime number, that is a multiple of nothing, i.e. it only divides on itself and the number 1, which is exactly the point being made. The last word of the chapter, Eptar, is about the mockers of the Prophet and how they, it is they who are Eptar. Their works and efforts and entire life, if they do not repent, will be cut off from blessings and therefore divide not into anything but themselves, so that in the end, nothing good for them remains in the afterlife and their efforts to mock the Prophet والسلام, are impotent. All in all, the number 61 is Eptar. If at first the picture was blurry, it is crystal clear now. This is truly amazing. May Allah multiply the rewards of our good deeds and forgive our sins. This is total mathematic harmony and the miraculous numerical interconnection that is impossible especially for an illiterate man who could not read or write, nevertheless arrange words and letters in such a way. The Qur'an as a linguistic miracle has challenged the world for 14 centuries and now in this age of computers we discover this mathematical code of which all of what we've mentioned is just the beginning. Allah had said in the Qur'an and if you are in doubt concerning that which we have sent down, i.e. the Qur'an, to our servant slave, i.e. Muhammad والسلام, then produce a single surah, i.e. chapter, of the like thereof, and call your witnesses, i.e. supporters and helpers, besides Allah, if you are indeed truthful. Allah, the all-knowing creator, answered this 
by stating that we never ever will, and for 14 centuries we have waited. Let me know what you think in the comments, and whether or not you prefer longer or shorter videos. And as always, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.